Since I was a kid, I've wanted to have one of these things. It has nothing to do with video games or anything like that. It's just something I've always wanted to do. This guy is just going to be walking. I'm satisfied with that. One foot in front of the other. That's all I care about. The rest of it's all cosmetic. Like, the uh, the head is completely unnecessary, but I decided I'd throw that on there, put a camera on it, and now I get a motorcycle helmet fitted with a uh, LCD, so wherever I move, the head uh, will also move. So anything I look at, it'll be looking at and just feeding it back to me. But the design and stuff, I've gotten a lot of compliments on it, you know. Uh, people want to know where I came up with the idea. It's just animes, I guess. Uh, not so much for, uh, like, the idea of it as just cosmetic look. Kind of just something different. Run something with arms and legs, hands and head. Uh, you won't see me. I'll be standing up inside of here. All you're looking at right now is just the, uh, the exoskeleton. It's, it's kind of like the inner workings. Uh, all the controls. This will all be sealed in. You won't even see me. I'll be inside completely subdued. Uh, the next ones I do, I'm going to have four engines, at least, one for each limb, all feeding out of uh, different reservoirs. I've got enough space in the legs and in the arms to be able to do that. So I decided to go a little bit more realistic and try and, and just make this one work. I've got the training wheels on the side that are coming off as soon as I figure out how to walk this guy. Uh, they're, it's still under construction. That's going to look like this. I'm going to get shock absorbers on them. And those side pads are just additional stabilization so that when I'm walking on the fly, I don't have to worry about left and right stabil stability so much. Bottom is all eighth inch, top is all sixteenth. So I've got half the weight, you know, up there that I do down here just by the thickness of the materials. And then on top of that, I'm using a lot heavier. Uh, controls down here also just to add on to the weight. Flamethrowers on the arms, uh, CO2 powered flamethrowers, and uh, some artillery I'm going to be making up to put up on the shoulders just to blow up some cars out there at the raceway. What's the point of having a giant robot if you can't blow stuff up with it? Seriously. <laughs> Just getting ready to pick this monster for the first time in about a year and a half, so I've been looking forward to this day for a long time. Got my buddy Nate here with me. Came out, he's driving the case. Shouldn't have a problem picking a mech. He's ready to back up, so I'm gonna go ahead and signal him we're gonna get started.
hoping it doesn't fall. That's all, it, that's all there is to it. Don't want it to fall. <laughs>